You'll remember the ninny who, uh, when asked if he could swim, said he didn't know because he'd never tried. Well, it is at least possible now to learn at home, and in one lesson, thanks to the homely methods of Victor Lawson, the famous coach. He's demonstrating the arm movement in the breaststroke, with the aid of a pupil and an ordinary piano stool. The movement of the legs should resemble the kick of a frog. The limbs are stretched straight behind, with the toes pointed, knees brought up to the body, opened, and then jerked outwards and backwards as far as possible. The soles of the feet, in imagination, striking the water. You exhale as if you were blowing your arms and hands away from you. The backstroke is very like the breaststroke, except that the body is inverted. In actual swimming, the hands can remain at the sides for a few seconds and the body rested. With the crawl stroke, the idea is to reproduce the action of an oar propelling a boat. You push the water back with your cupped hands, the arms placed as if you were reaching for something, uh, but not for the moon. The instructor shows the correct leg movement. Proper breathing is an essential of proper swimming, especially with the crawl. Dip your face in the bowl up to your ears and exhale through the nose. Place a mirror at the bottom of the basin and open your eyes. Ready? Go! After each dip, turn your head to right or left and take in as much air as possible. That's what you'll do when you're swimming the channel. Now do that crawl stroke again. You know the movements and you know how to breathe. So let's drop in when we're passing and try it. The importance of correct breathing can't be overemphasized. Not only is it the basis of good swimming, but it's vital in such matters as slimming and figure control. So breathe and be happy.